The demolition of this 11-story structure on a 12-acre site in downtown Newark clears the way for construction of a world-class performing arts center. Well, the beauty of art is that it can turn the ordinary into the awe-inspiring. In New Jersey's case, a symbol of urban decay has been transformed into a sparkling new center for the arts. The $180 million project has been under construction for the past four years. It is scheduled to officially open on the 18th of October. Prudential Hall will host the likes of Kathleen Battle and Yitzhak Perlman and dance companies of the stature of Alvin Ailey in the American Ballet Theater. The 500-seat Victoria Theater will house children's programs and smaller productions. New Jersey hopes to break into the major leagues of culture. Art Center is a way in a society that's too often divided, a chance to come together. It begins to change the image of a city. Consequences, consequences. You know, it's really the management here. Larry laid such a great foundation, and now it's being taken to a whole new level. It's been an incredible year for NJ Pack. Last summer, the hit TV show America's Got Talent broadcast numerous live shows here. To America's Got Talent! Black Girls Rock, a movement committed to empowering women through media, taped at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center for the fourth year in a row. The Newark Jazz Legacy is a very rich and deep one. NJ Pack is supporting that great legacy of jazz and taking it into the future. Thousands of vocalists from all around the world participate in the Sassy Awards. They are carrying forward the legacy of the artist for whom this competition is named, the proud daughter of Newark, Sarah Vaughan. <laughs> The Founders' mission is baked into the heart of who NJPAC is as an institution, a place for education, community engagement, civic engagement. The Women's Association has raised over $50 million for education initiatives, and we serve 75,000 kids and families every season. I wasn't really thinking about musical theater because I never knew I was going to be good at it. Former Governor Tom Kane first proposed NJ Pack and its housing component in 1986. The idea then was that a new neighborhood would rise around the art center. So this was a dream. I mean, it's the one proposal I made that both parties came to me and said, we'll do a lot of things with you, but not that. Today, I can say touchdown for the city of Newark, New Jersey Performing Arts Center, and a great project that we're gonna have in this city. 